With the Winter Olympics starting in a couple of days, the torch is making its way to Sochi. The torch relay continues to wind through the streets of Russia. Crowds have been lining the streets to get a look at the torch. The opening ceremony is coming up on Friday. The Winter Games will have plenty of Wisconsin connections, and that includes Marquette student Brian Hansen, who will be competing in four speed skating events. And Brian joins us live this morning from Sochi, Russia. He's on the phone with us. Hi, Brian. Hi. How you doing? We're good. Tell us where you are right now, and what time is it there in Sochi? Uh, it is 5.15 p.m., um, and right now I'm in my room in the Olympic Village, um, and that's in what's called the, uh, the Coastal Olympic Village, um, because there's three Olympic Villages, and, uh, and yeah, it's, I mean, it's a pretty nice day, and I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you spending some time with us. What's your time been like so far in Sochi? The food, the hotel room, hanging out with other Olympians? Um, it's definitely been really exciting. Um, the food's been good. Uh, they've had a variety of food. You know, it's um, they offer us some Russian food, you know, that usually be, uh, beets, buckwheat, and fish. Um, but you can also get, like, Asian food or, you know, pizza or, you know, more food that we're uh, accustomed to. Um, so that, that's pretty nice. Um, Putin actually stopped by in the cafeteria today, and I had a lot of friends that were able to uh, meet him and take their picture with him. I didn't have a chance to, though. Um, and then, uh, you know, the whole village is pretty nice. Athletes are still coming in. Um, Oh, the figure state skaters just got here yesterday, and um, and the women's hockey team as well just came in. The men's hockey team I haven't seen yet. I think they're still yet to come. Um, but, yeah, it's been really exciting. How's your hotel room? Everything okay as far as that is? Um, more or less. I think, um, you know, it's, we're staying in kind of like a, an apartment, or it's a soon-to-be apartment building. Um there's like when we came in it was a pretty big room with just um two beds we didn't even have a trash can or soap so a while we were trying to figure out you know no one had soap and no one had a trash can but now we got that figured out um it, yeah i mean it's it's definitely pretty nice so that's that's good too so we're watching video of you brian training at the pettit in milwaukee what's the uh, ice been like for you in sochi um, so this is a sea level rink, um, which means it's actually similar ice conditions to uh, what it would be like at the Pettit National Ice Center in Milwaukee. Um, uh, and, you know, you, you go, you know, not the ice feels the same. It's not really fast. There probably won't be any world records set here in Sochi at this Olympics um, because it's a slower track and it's at sea level. Um, but yeah, I mean. I just had a practice race today, actually, and I did about a similar time to what I would do in Milwaukee. So I think, um, you know, we'll wait and see what happens during the Olympics. But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, so far it, it seems similar to Milwaukee. Well, you took home the silver at uh, the 2010 Winter Games. You feeling the gold? Um, well, we'll see. I'm, I mean, it's certainly going to be possible. Uh, you know, compared to Vancouver, I was skating, or I was skating two distances in Vancouver, and for this Olympics, I'm skating four, um, the 500 meter, 1, 1,500 meter, and also the team pursuit. Um, so, the 500 is the first day, the 1,000 it will be on the 12th, and the um, 1,500 will be on the uh, 15th, and you know, the 1,000, 1,500, I think I'll have a chance for a medal as well. Um, I mean, it will be, uh, it'll come down to that day, you know, who's feeling good and who races well, but um, it'll definitely be a possibility. Well, go for the gold, Brian. We'll be cheering you on here back in the States and watching you in your four events at the Winter Games in Sochi. Thanks so much for spending some time with us this morning, and we'll be following you on Twitter because he is tweeting all day long. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> well, thank you, guys.